Well, if you too, it's your boy Darius. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys can be anywhere else in the world. But you hear me, I appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe to your boy. Leave a like. Give a guy to any recommendation. Leave in a comment section. I get to as soon as possible. We're about to do right now, but we had to. How do autistic people experience love? Um, uh, by Jubilee. Um, and you guys already know, I was in Jubilee like what, a few months ago. And it was a great experience. You know what I'm saying? I was there as a person with autism or autistic person. You know, what, what, where are flexible? But, I, but yeah, but yeah, as you guys already know, I am autistic, you know, high functioning. And, uh, and I was on Jubilee and it was, it was a fantastic experience. I actually do want to, want to go back. You know, to truly admit, and uh, yeah, like yeah. After after we finish, after, I'm gonna look up and see if there's anything else I can participate in in part of Jubilee. But um, uh, but in the meanwhile, uh, what um, uh, but in the meanwhile, we're about to do we're about to react to how the autistic people experience love. Um, your boy's single. He always been single. So uh, like like majority of people with autism uh, or majority of autistic people, I've never been in a an actual relationship. Like never, I've never really actually been in an actual relationship. Like ever, not not at all. But like, uh, but um, uh, like, but few people have actually, and um, uh, and that what I do. But I watch that video. I see my boy Chai. He back, he back in a video. You know, he has a dope dude. So what about do about react to the video? And I'll be blah blah blah. They get straight to the video. This is kind of overrated, y'all. I'm just saying, <laughs> sex is like cooperative fitness. You know, it, it's a great workout. It's good cardio. I don't need it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Look, three, like, look, three couples. I One of them all autistic. Quickly. Sadly, I, I do. I agree. I, I fall in love quickly. Three, I, I hate to admit two, it. One, go. I strongly agree. Yeah, I fall in love quickly. I hate, I hate to admit that. I get on that side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh Jack, like Jay, you got, you got pretty going cute. Your mind? A lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, if I was, like, six feet tall, I'd kind of just lay on my side right here and, like, take this whole row. But, like, <laughs> every time I'd hear the, that phrase of, uh -huh, you know, I still haven't been able to say it throughout my entire life. Even w when, like, my family would say it to me or my friends would say it to me or when my partner would say it to me. I mean, despite all the training I've done of years. watching movies, I still don't register or follow with, like, what... Love means, you know what? Uh, here we go. Uh, here, I'm gonna... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. so he is an awkward we dude, so about funny dude. Not too. experiencing what love is supposed to be, and I feel like I caught you in a mental trap that I spent like she years in. The thing with media and music and like movies is that we're told like this is what neurotypicals experience, and this is the yeah. of existence. And yeah. there's no supposed to. Whatever you feel and brings you joy is... And she's correct. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the normals, you know, the normal people, you know, like uh, the people without autism, you know, they get that. They experience love much differently than the people with spectrum, the way we experience love. Like, like, we, we, like I, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I fall hard. And I fall hard and I, I get too clingy and everything. And it sucks, too. It sucks, too, because you know... That you know that um, you're not supposed to do, not to be so clingy, but it's like you can't help yourself. Does that make sense, everyone? Your path. And that's one of the things that makes our love so unique. Actually, that, that's, uh, I, I kind of feel like, cause I think what I've <laughs> talked to Ray earlier about, I'm more of a, a shower than a teller. Like these words of affirmations, like saying things like, I miss you. is things that I'm not very strong at talking about. And more in my actions, I can show things that I care about you. Mm. You know, like... I'll bring you food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I will. I will hug you harder. Of course, love is also you. about action, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I definitely found strong feelings for him quickly. You um did things that were very difficult to ignore, like write me love poems and share them on stage. <laughs> Just how I did it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He is. Um, he is then a comedian. Agree because. We're still figuring out what these feelings mean. So I, I'm hesitant to fully... Be vulnerable. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, hesitant to fully be vulnerable. And it's not a bad thing. And I think you're autistic, I, too. I saw you kind of agreeing. Yes, uh, I think 
being on a spectrum, sometimes we just... He's definitely pretty cute. Love bomb. I would, like, write him letters. I was, like, probably way too much at the beginning, like, obsessiveness. I, I was just like, yeah, heart eyes, immediately. <laughs> Around a month into us dating, we were just, like, talking in and out, and I, um, I fell a- and, uh, and I don't want to be a little co- too controversial, but I per- me personally, I always feel like it's easier for girls to find love than it is for guys to find love. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, and I'm not saying that to bash anyone or anything. You know what I'm saying? I think like with girls, it's like, you know, like, they, like they just have one confident guy to come up and say, you know, they're pretty or, you know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, if it's sound messed up, I apologize. I don't mean, I don't mean to sound, I don't mean to sound cold or mess up or anything. I just feel like, you know, with, with us guys, you know, I say we really have a hard time, you know, I try, try to approach girls and try to get them because society has seen us guys as, you know, masculine, you know, like we're supposed to take charge, we're supposed to take leaders. I feel like with guys, especially us with a spectrum, it's like it's much harder like to do that because we're, mar- we're marching the beat of our own drum. So that makes sense. So like so, if I say anything offensive, I, I apologize. I don't. I, I like. I'm trying not to be offensive. I'm just. I'm gonna tell you what I like. What I think. You know what I'm saying. And uh, if you guys disagree, you you you're more than free to comment down below. And I, I, I honestly will want to hear your opinion on that. Sleep. And he just like let me like sleep with like my head in his lap, and I was like, <laughs> I want to be with him forever. But I just kept that to myself because no one says that a month in. <laughs> My partner wants more physical intimacy than me. Hmm. Three, two, one. See, I'm not like a physical person. Um, like, I'm only a physical person if I... Intimacy. If, if, if I want to intimate. Do you get, does that make sense? <laughs> well, it's not that I don't like physical intimacy, but I know clearly Ray definitely likes it more than I do. Mm. Yeah, I... I did lack a lot of physical intimacy. That's same here. I, I agree with Jay on this one. Physical affection more through fists than hugs. What did caught me more was that there was a certain way that Ray hugged me differently than the way that I naturally got hugs. And I'm like, this feels really warm and nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, see, see, I wish I, I got that. I don't like getting naked. Uh, I feel like Sex is kind of overrated, y'all. I'm just saying, sex is like cooperative fitness. You know, it, it, I get. I mean, I get. I, yeah, it is. It, it kind of is in a way, but it isn't in a way as well. See, like, see, like, see, what sex when it's good, it's really good. If it's not good, like, if it's not good, then I can see. Yeah, it's overrated. You know, you know what I'm saying. Great workout. It's precautions. Like, it ain't a bad thing. It's a pretty great thing. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, so that's hey, if you don't, hey, a, if you don't need sex, that's good. That's hard. That's hard to maintain sometimes. Um, I've definitely. I'll say this before we move forward. I think sex is part of a relationship. It's just not the only part. Of, not the only part of the relationship. I think that. I think, I think that I think there's more to it. And physical physical, physical in, intimacy should not only be known as sex. You get what I'm saying? Sex. Uh, um, what I want to say, sex. Um, you know, what I'm saying physical intimacy. Intimacy could be cuddling. It could be just two people cuddling and just relax, watch, watching movies. You know, go watching Netflix. You know, things like that. To tone back my desire for for physical interactions, I get a lot of those needs met through hand holding and hugging. So I'm like basically always. See, I don't mind shy. doing that. Hand, <laughs> hand holding. It's funny, like when I first ask Ray. May I place my hand into your hand? <laughs> can I run my face into your face? Because I didn't know, um, like, how, how to... Because consent is important, y'all. Like, you know, gotta got get the consent. I need the verbal cues to be like, am I, uh, may I have your permission to do the things I'm about to do to you? So that's kind of what I needed a lot. But mm. if she says, I'm feeling it, I'm like, I got you. And she says, I'm not feeling it. I'm going to turn off. It seems... <laughs> that there's a lot of commonalities here. I've literally heard her say some of the same words you just said. She's like, you know, okay, give me your hand. I'm going to put my hand in your hand now. And I'm like, you don't got to ask for that. And she's like, okay, I'm going to hug you. I'm like, babe, you might like, you like my whole life. Nice. It's an awkward thing for me with when it comes to 
physical because I still I wanna, to this I day ask for consent a lot of times because it just doesn't come naturally. I don't know. I'm like in the middle because sometimes I'm overstimulated. So he might mm. try to give me affection and I might be like, ah, you know, right now is not see, a good I see, time. I see that. Um, I, see that. I see that. I feel, I feel like how she's feeling because like sometimes it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a partner at, at all. I'm a single guy. But like, but it feels like, you know, like when people get too affectionate, I'm like, eh, you get what I'm saying? I guess it's the, the same way. We get overstimulated really easily. So she's like, don't touch me, don't hug me, you know. But sometimes I need a lot of affection. I'm like, this, come on, like, you know, comfort me. I need comforting. And other times I'm like, uh, you know, this is too much. I don't need that right now. Like, I mean, yeah. I experience a lot of overstimulation. That basically makes me more inclined to, like, set my skin on fire than this to, <laughs> to want to, like, be, like, in a, like, a romantic, t like, touching situation sometimes. I, I struggle with the question, I guess, because it's not me. That's just, like, how my body reacts to my environment. It's, it's not something, like, I identify with. It's just, if anything, it's just a, a cause for, for annoyance, which is something that I, that I try not to do because that really just makes it worse. But um, generally, I consider myself in, like, spirit and personality. Like, I love affection. I love physical intimacy. It's, it's really good, and it helps my heart, like, heal in many, many ways. So. I was right. nervous to join this relationship. I'm still nervous Three, to join a relationship. Two, I strongly one. agree. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily looking for a relationship, and um, I was not aware that Chai was on the spectrum until we started dating. <laughs> I I just thought he was awkward. <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, That's not true. Which you're is on the true. spectrum. Of course you're awkward. For me, I it's coming knew the territory. That the relationship was going to be more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Oh, so she and I in the oh, spectrum. Oh, make or break deal. This was also my first relationship, and you know Ray gave me something that. Not a lot of... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I I'm glad that he's in a happy first relationship. See, see that? Like I said, I've never been in a relationship. I'm a 34-year-old grown man, so... Actually awkward, introverted. I bet he's a Low self-esteem is that um, was, you know, attention and affirmation. You know, kind of the double-A batteries for people with low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I forgot what the problem was. Oh, nervous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how I'm doing it right now. Um, it's it, it, it's hard. I because it's a brand new experience for me. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just let's go and see what happens. <laughs> I'd love to hear from on this side. We have some disagrees. Well, yeah, I'm dyslexic, so I read the, the signs wrong. Oh no, I'm on the wrong move? side. <laughs> Go for it. You can move to your um, I, I was gonna say I somewhat agree. Um, at the time when I met Terry, I was in the military, and I didn't nice. know I was on the spectrum, but I knew there was thank, something Thank you for your on. service, man. <laughs> so I was somewhat nervous because I was afraid that he was going to think I'm a little weird or different because I already knew that I am very different than the, you know. That's how I feel. That's how I always feel. I always feel like I'm different. I always feel like I'm weird. Like, I'm not, quote, unquote, normal. You get what I'm saying? Typical person. The craziest thing was we discovered her autism after we discovered our children's. Mm. Because it was just like. So they are they are parents. You did that. And and you do that. And, and you talk like that. And, you, you know, it was like, oh, wow. Like, <laughs> and we just started to educate, educate, educate. So. I strongly disagree. And, and some of the, you know, if we want to describe it as quirkiness, that's what made me fall in love with her. So I was very okay. rigid, stern, strong, cold. She was very, you know, <laughs> what are you talking about? Let cool. You know, and that's cool. You know, I, you know, you know, what I'm saying I'm glad that he liked her for who he is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, gl I'm glad he liked her for who he is. And eventually I was able to just let go. So I think I definitely gained from being in a relationship with her. So I strongly agreed because there was something so genuine about Connor. It didn't even like register. Sucks that my homegirl Sophia and her and her wife um, didn't join on the show. I uh, I actually sent this um to Sophia and hoping to see her, but like, but I guess his wife. I get no, her wife. Didn't like, I uh, didn't want to be part of it. And I think that sucks, but. Eh. At first, that he was autistic too. The day he told me he loved me, I told my best friend, and she was like, Well, like, what does he want? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but since then, 
it's been incredible. Oh, yeah, you want to score. It's such <laughs> a safe environment for me, and it's just, it's the best relationship, and I love him very much, so. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I remember when we first met, we were at a park with a bunch of people we barely knew, and we were both stressed about that. That's and so we both, like, the first time I even caught her eye, we gave each other, like, a stressed out side glance <laughs> from being in a social situation. I'm like, yeah, yeah, because I tend to, I've always gravitated towards people who are not, like, who are not neurotypical, and, and I'm like, she's, she, there's, she's not normal, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There ain't nothing wrong with that. We had talked a lot about, like, wanting to find people, like, fi- how we'd wanted to find someone that we could, like, open up to um, in the face of uh, trauma that we'd both experienced. And it was at that point I was like, okay, like, the nervousness will have to come to an end, and I think this is the person that I want to, like, retrain my brain into, like, doing that with. I All want right. kids on the spectrum. Three, two... I don't disagree with that, to tell you the truth. Like, you know, like, like you know, with, like... You know, I'm pro- I'm probably I'm probably I'm on the spectrum, but at the same time, I would have wished it on anyone. You know what I'm saying? It's like that scene from Forrest Gump. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we discovered that he had a son. You know what I'm saying? And then he actually need um he uh, like he said he, he, he's the most beautiful person, but he said but he asked her he asked her is he smart or is he just like you know you know what I'm saying? He felt like like he, like he didn't like he didn't want his son to be stupid or 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 or, or no things like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying people on the spectrum are stupid or anything or anything. It's just that I I, w- I wouldn't want my son or my or my daughter to go go through what like what I have to go through. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't wish uh, autism on other people. Does that make sense, anyone? One, go. I'll say strongly disagree. I know. Or or at least disagree. Um. Yeah. If I were to like design a baby i would i would make changes i'm also an engineer and, and there are things that <laughs> in my life that engineer. like i don't feel attached to and if i could i would change just from like a genetics point of view so um i don't uh, see that there's any fault in being on the spectrum because this disability is just Disorder. that society sees as our inability to communicate or talk to people that to portray our intelligence not by our minds but by the way we speak why wouldn't you want, like, to love your kids, whether they're on the spectrum, or any spectrum, any sexuality, any race, gender, or whoever? I, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Like, if my kid was on the spectrum, I definitely would love them regardless. You know what I'm saying? If they were, if they were, if they were gay or even transgender, I would love them regardless. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like but like I said, I would have want people, I would have wished um, w- wish other people to go do what I have to go do. You get what I'm saying? I would have wished that on anyone. I suppose mostly my strongly disagree comes from what the way the world is kind of seeming like going now for our future generations. Yeah. So that, that's more like, uh, don't kids? I mean, uh, probably not really. <laughs> we have children on the spectrum. And, uh, man, um, being with Ayumi. Mm. And having kids to discover that has literally changed my life. It's changed That's my dope. patience. It's changed my observations of self. It's changed all of the trauma that I grew up with. You know, like, although it is definitely a learn as you go experience, and I definitely don't have, you know, a closet full of all wins, <laughs> you know, I definitely am grateful for that opportunity. They are amazing, like literally the most talented little girls ever. I mm. I do feel, you know, sad because they do have challenges with making friends and yeah, not that's being the thing. able I to, want I guess, them to have any challenges. be the neurotypical kid and being able to understand directions right away. So I, I do have to think, like, do I want another child to, you know, have to go through that? So I, I say somewhat agree because there's a lot of challenges that I had to go through that my kids are going through so but exactly. amazing people little humans I uh, have felt difficult to love three yeah two, Gr- agree one. agree yeah I felt difficult to love yes okay wow. I'm gonna make sure I the question's correct <laughs> I don't know I just she like did say she's a a dyslexic. Things I I have going on like low self esteem, extremely 
um, overstimulated and. Um, Do you want to be on the strongly disagree? Yeah, I think you might want to come over here. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying you, if you're there, you feel you hard feel to like you're easy to love oh. if you're on that side. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he did say he's dyslexic, so. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh. Can we start all over? <laughs> start. Mine's not long. Okay, we tele I teleported on this We're side. We're such an unlovable. <laughs> <laughs> you teleport like he's in the Star Trek. <laughs> So yes, I do feel like I'm very um, difficult to love. Uh, it's hard to be vulnerable, and uh, being on the spectrum on top of that is just hard for me to. I feel I feel like you know like I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, you mean um, I feel like other than my parents, you know, like both my mom and my dad, as well as my stepdad and my stepmom, and of course my grandma. Uh, you know, what I'm saying I can be like a very difficult person to love. You know, what I'm saying I can be a very difficult person. You know, like that people like people. Who can like who can understand me and things like that? You get you get what I'm saying, but you know that's that, that's how I feel. I feel, I feel like sometimes I can be too much for people, even even towards my folks. You know what I'm saying? And I know my folks would love me um regardless, but still, it's like that's just how I feel. That's all I say. Strongly agree. Communicate, or I might overreact. You know, it's just I feel like more than the typical person I have a lot more things going on so I'm just like why would somebody love me when I have all these things I can't even follow simple directions or I can't even communicate something so I just feel like I have lots of obstacles first I'm going to say that this room should be a living example of our belief that we're difficult to love is not real because mm. everyone probably thinks that way to some degree that's and true. she's easy to love. She's a great mom. And <laughs> I can sit up here and talk for hours about why I do love her and how easy I'm, it is. Oh, I believe I you. I believe you. She does have the challenges that she mentioned, but so do I. I also agree that I'm difficult to love, even though I would hope that she disagrees. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you choose to love me, you know, love me for my strengths and help me through my weak weaknesses. So that's, that's dope. Um. So it's funny for me, like holding Connor's hand and being like, I feel hard to love, but autism itself is not the reason for that for me. It's I feel other like partly, disorders. I feel like, you know, it's partly the reason, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you, might, you might not think it's a reason, which is cool, but I feel like our, our, our spectrum is but it partly the reason why, you know, like because it's wired in our brain. Right, right in our brain. No, so not like so. No matter what what we do or something, it's 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 a it's a part of it. It's a part of who we are, and, and not a hundred percent of who we are, but it's part of who we are. I feel I feel like that part is uh, partly the reason why we can be difficult to love. That's just my opinion, and you guys are welcome to disagree. Like because I experience a lot of dysregulated emotion, like unpredictable waves of rage and paranoia, and just things that I think would be stressful for a person to deal with being with me. But Connor has been very patient and I want to make him as happy as I possibly can, even in the midst of my challenges. <laughs> for me, finding her hard to love isn't something that I think about. <laughs> it's not something that I experience. I, I find her easy to love because I love her a lot. But in my personal experience, like the way my brain seems to work is that like w if my brain's in the mood to perceive myself as like not likable or unlovable, it immediately summons the ghosts of everyone in my life that I've ever thought displayed that kind of reaction to anything that I may or may not have done. And, and so like I've had much more experience in that realm than I have in the self-help, like self-love, like, oh, I'm great. Like I'm doing good. It's been an effort for me to try to like, retrain my brain to do less of that for a less amount of like the time that I'm alive and awake. So, damn, love it. Love is pretty darn hard. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't see how anyone could have figured this thing out. So many people feel alone when they're not alone. Like, you see how lonely that side is, and how unlonely mm. this side is to feeling like that we are alone. Like. How could this be? We're, we're, we're all sitting on the same line. We can't even fit on the same line. Like, y'all would be <laughs> right here. But, like, there's just, it's just not enough room for people to be alone. <laughs> yeah, that's a comedian yeah, really side to him, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm in this line because even though I've, I've expressed um, feeling uh, not safe or feeling lonely or feeling like I don't know who to turn to or who will accept me, 
I know that these feelings are transitions um, and there's something that I need to find for myself within them. I'm trying to get over there. <laughs> Save me. I think we all try to get to over there, there like on the other side. <laughs> but. And, uh, um, I'm really <laughs> grateful to Chai for helping me get to that direction. <laughs> Well, guys, this was an amazing conversation. This was dope. I like this. You are all. all right. This was dope. I like this, y'all. Like this is dope. I wish uh, every single one of them nothing but the best. You know what I'm saying? I wish all the couple nothing but the best. If you're ha if you're on the spectrum like I am, I wish you guys uh, can also find love as well. And say, and say and with me, I hope I hope I do find love one day. Will I ever find love? We shall see. I don't I don't know, but we shall see. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comment below. If you like, subscribe to your boy. You can check my preview down here. Peace out, everyone.